Hi there, Leon here. And in today's video, I'd like to show you how to make a synthetic flute only using Yuhi's software, Zebra 2. This is the final result. So to begin, what we want to do is create an oscillator and an XMF, which is a filter. So we have an oscillator default with this oscillator one, filter one patch. Uh, if you just initialize your synth, you end up with something like this. So if you create an, an oscillator one and then a XMF, you'll see that there's this here. So we want oscillator one to XMF one and then on a separate lane, we can get rid of this. Uh, on a separate lane, we want a noise oscillator into a comb filter. And we want these both to be in parallel, meaning that the signals aren't routing into each other. Something to note is uh, for this sound to work, we want our voices to be few uh, because we want to more play as legato rather, uh, rather than polyphonic. Oscillator one. We want this to be a saw wave. We can see here that it's a saw wave just by default. We want our uh, settings to be basically the same as this. However, the vibrato can be brought down to around about 20. And the volume can be at 100% with a LFO1 routed to 100%. Now this is where the flute quality fundamentals come from in the, in the sound itself, uh, is in this wave section here. Now we actually want to select both of these two boxes. This is a, uh, a sync. Basically this is cycling through the harmonic series, tuning it to whatever value you choose. So if we have this on and a uh, pulse width modulation. Now the values for both of these, we want our sync to be exactly at 24. This will really get the fundamental of that sound of a flute. And our pulse width modulation we want it to be on 41.5. Now in the key tab, we can keep uh, all this off in the key tab. Basically we want this final one to be reaching just over the top of that key and to be able to sort of have this as a straight down line, if we can, as smooth as you can get it. This is basically the amount of gain that each note has. So this sort of, is equivalent to a compressor in a way, meaning the volume of the high notes will be equal volume to the low notes. So the key fold, we want to be on 100%. And, uh, and now moving on, we want our noise to be on white, mono, and 50, which is default uh, for the width. Our low pass can be at 71. Our high pass can be left at zero. Our volume can be at 50%, and that can be routed to LFO1. The value here, it goes to 50. Next is a comb filter. The comb filter is uh, basically what gives it that breathiness in the sound. And we want to select dissonant and noise. The tune can be left on default and the tune can be put up to 22.2. The input can be uh, put up to 100 and the damp on 67. Now the feedback can go on negative 50. Next, we go to the sound settings here. We have two tabs, sound and mix. On sound, we want the distortion to be at 37.5, flavor to be at 38, width to be at 50, and under the mix page, we want dry to be at zero, volume to be at 100, and the volume is routed to key fold, and key is routed to 100. Now, moving on to your XMF, We'll set this to LP4, which is a low passed filter. Set this to single. You can put the cutoff at around 15 and this can be routed to the same key fold. The resonance can be brought up to 23. Key on 100, overload on 100 and FM on the tiniest bit of 4.5 or, or in between, that's fine. Now moving over to our envelopes. Now um, we will end up using two envelopes. However, to access that second envelope, we need to go over here to envelope two. 
and now we can see it. Something weird that this patch uses is the expanded view within the envelopes. And what this basically does is it changes the velocity scale of each value of your ADSR. So for example, you could have your attack value change the velocity scale for each of the, for, for, for your attack or for your decay and so on and so on. Um, and this is very, very interesting for custom. You, you can customize your sound quite a lot here. Anyway, um, for envelope one, we want to access this expanded view um, and your attack is on 30.5, decay on 50, sustain on 80, and release on 15, velocity on 62. Now, the only thing we change with this expanded view is the attack at negative 14. So we just bring this down to negative 14 there. Now on envelope two, we want to expand this as well and change the attack to 15.5, decay to 36.5, sustain at 17.5, and release at default 15.0. Now in the velocity scale, this is where things are a little bit different. The attack is at negative 10, the K is at negative 18. Now on the key scale here, we have positive 12 and negative 30. Fantastic. Um, and if we move to the first LFO, which is being um, routed to your volume of your oscillator and volume of your noise. So this can control basically a simulated vibrato. Um, what we wanna do is set this to gate one eighth and a sine wave, amplitude at 100%, rate at 106. And we can route the amplitude to aftertouch here. Now, what this can do is if, if you, this is optional, but if you want to bring this parameter up at any point, you can basically control your modulation of your sound with aftertouch. In the matrix section, just make sure that there's all of this stuff is blank. And what we can do is set up velocity at value 30 to your VCA1 volume two, and you'll find this in your voice mix volume two. And that's it for your matrix. You only want that happening. Now, the last thing to do for the routing and everything like that is these envelope sections. We want zone one to have envelope one at value 30 with key fall set to negative 100, and then envelope two set to 10, with a key fall set to negative 100 as well. So uh, a big portion to what makes the sound work is um, this first effect here, the EQ. Shaping the sound before going into delay and reverb will help smooth the sound. If you add a EQ after these effects, um, you won't be able to take the full advantage of what reverb and delay can offer with shaping your sound. So for our EQ, we want to create an almost band pass looking shape, sort of like this, right click on a point and drag up a little bit, just expand the waves a little bit, bring this down around here and create this sort of shape, a little bit of a bump at 3K. So next we want to add our delays and delay we can set to W2 plus two, Basically, the main parts of this delay is to set our feedback correct at 10, cross at 25, uh, low pass and high pass stays default, and we want sorry, one half over one quarter, and then one quarter over one quarter. Our mix can stay at 35. And then moving on to our reverb, we want our dry to be at 80, and our wet to be at 75. Our size can be at 75, feedback at 43, damp at four, speed and mod at 50. In the diffuser section, we want the size to be at 50, feedback at 70, mix at 30, speed at 55, and mod at 50. And here's your sound. Now something to note actually, before I end this video, um, just make sure your key fall is at 100 here. Otherwise, um, your tuning will actually change. 
that was the only thing different because basically when I changed that, um, I got all sorts of weird skippings of notes and changes, which is actually a really cool result, to be honest. If I change this down, you get actually microtonal tunings. So that could be helpful if you wanted to be creative and do some weird stuff. Uh, but anyway, that's that's the sound. It's um, it's it's pretty cool. The, the the main part of the sound comes from the comb filter and the noise. But yeah, have a play around with the sound. The sound will be in the description for free download. This skin as well is is free um, and available in the description. And I hope these videos are quite straightforward and easy to to follow along with. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing for more educational content. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thanks for joining in. Bye.